Hey guys, and welcome back to So Shezzy. This is the first post in my vacation sewing series. Coordinating on family trips has been our thing since we first had Slade, but finding the perfect piece for boys without dressing them in the exact same thing is almost impossible. So I decided to sew about 95% of their vacation wardrobe. I always start my planning with buying a few items that I love. These trunks were on Zara and I love the colors. It reminded me of a beautiful summer day. So I knew I wanted to do something that also gave that vibe. I went to Canva and picked a blue that looked similar to the stripes in my husband's trunks. And then I typed in sun or sunshine. I like these two graphics, so I started placing them on my canvas. I made it a repeat pattern, even though I wasn't sure if I had to since it wasn't too close to the edge, but I did just in case. Uh, I learned how to do that somewhere here on YouTube, so I'll link that video in the comments so you can see more detail. And then I decided to add some clouds because it felt like it needed a little something more, and with this beautiful blue background, clouds felt like the right thing. I added those, and once I was happy, I headed over to Raspberry Creek Fabrics to upload my design as a custom print. I enlarged it just to make sure there were no lines and nothing was cut off in an odd way. I played with the scale a little, but I always prefer a slightly larger graphic, so I went with about two inches per like sun and then added it as a board short material. I also went back to Canva and used the three colors in the print to make solids for a color block. And here is the result. Beautiful, vibrant fabric, like I said, on board short material, and I can't wait to show you guys what I made. For this first set of swim trunks, I decided to go with Lowland's cargo shorts, which I've never tried as swim trunks, but I know they're drafted for woven, so I said I'd give it a shot without the pockets. But I also wanted to use a one inch elastic instead of one, of one and a quarter that is drafted for us, so I removed a little bit off the waist to accommodate that. And then since I made a modification to it, I went ahead and used the one that I already cut to create the opposite side. But this is gonna be a color block, so it's gonna be orange one side, blue and yellow on the other side. So just cutting that all out. For the color block side of the front leg, I am going to just pick a spot, nothing special, and cut, keeping in mind that I have to include um, the seam allowance on either side. So when I cut this yellow section out, I'm gonna add a half an inch. I did it wrong here in this video and forgot to re-record the second one. So the second one, I actually did include a half an inch to accommodate the seam allowance. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut out my second pair on the printed fabric that we did in Canva for my youngest son. Now for the liner. Since these are from a pattern that have a separate waistband and not a fold over waistband, I found that the best way to get these in here without actually adjusting the size of them is to just quarter them underneath where the folded part of the waistband is. And then when I top stitched it, I just carefully made sure that everything was in place. Here's the finished product. And then the second pair and all done. I am in love. I cannot wait to see my boys on vacation in these swim trunks coordinating with myself and my husband, and I will be sure to share that. There are a couple more pieces just to complete this look, including a rash guard and some after swim pieces that I'm gonna share. So please stay tuned. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks.